Hello again, good to have you back again. For those of you tuning in for the first time, I am the RT Click Grunts. Welcome to my channel. Now, I have finished the Zentradi that come in the Robotech RPG Tactics standard box set. Now, why am I just showing you the Zentradi and not also the United Earth Defense Force troops, the Veritex and such? Because they're tiny by comparison. They're a lot smaller. Their parts are a lot smaller and harder to work with. That's a head. That's a head unit. So they take a lot more intricate work, and I haven't found my tweezer kit yet, so it makes it really difficult and slow going. These, however, I was able to kick out and finish up right quick. Now, right off, I'm not in my usual Popular the Coalition States Palladium t-shirt because it's gray, they're gray, they kind of seem to blend a bit, so I went with a darker background. Now, what have we got? What do we, what do we get in the basic box set as far as Zentradi troops? We get a dozen Regals, basically two squads of six. We get a Glaug. Officer Pod, a Quell Regolt, Advanced Reconnaissance Unit, and a Quell Gulmau Recovery Pod. Now, right quick, I've covered that. That took no time, so let me give you some incidentals. The pods are cheap, easy, effective. They're your mass combat troops. They've got life is cheap, which means if they're engaged in, in combat or between, like your Officer Pod and an enemy unit, you can shoot through them, risking hitting them. You can actually shoot on them and destroy them to open a line of sight. That's one kind of cool thing. Plus, if you use one of the standard squadron formations to, say, team up nine of your regals with your Glaug officer pod, you can utilize the Zentradi Armada special ability, where if they're within eight inches and he's got of the officer and he's got a line of sight, so your officer gives you three command points, your recon unit gives you two. If you've got them both filled, that's five command points in your command pool that you refill at the beginning of each turn. If the nine in his squadron are within eight inches and a line of sight to your officer, let's say five get destroyed, you can spend one of your command points at the beginning of your next turn when you refill you at those five, you can spend one on the officer and have five fresh units into the board within two inches of your Zentradi player's deployment edge as replacements coming from the Armada. Yeah, you blew up five, but I'm spending one command point and I've got five back. Now they just gotta catch up to the squad. Now, there's your primary benefits to the officer. He's bigger, he's heavier, he's got better guns, better armor. He gives you three command points for you to use throughout each turn. They refill at the beginning of each turn. But, that Armada benefit, you just keep coming back. Reinforcements turn after turn as long as you spend that com one command point. And it doesn't matter if it's one Regolt Battle Pod, or all nine that were destroyed. You spend that one, they come back at the beginning of the next turn. If it's all nine, it's just falling back to link up with them. You know, just saying. Now, some would say that the retrieval, the recovery pod, for ten points, it's got no guns, you know, there's really no purpose to it. I mean, it's heavy, it takes a lot of hits and everything, but there's really no point to it. The tactical thing of it is, if you keep it within two inches of a command pod that's part of a squadron, that 8 inch line of sight range automatically increases to 12. Now, some might say for 10 points that's not really worth it, but to me, that increase of another 4 inches out to a full 12 inches of line of sight from your commander for 10 points and no need of using command points, it's just an automatic augmentation, that sounds worthwhile. Oh, and don't forget, if your commander is in with a squad, squadron of 9, or any kind of squadron, as well as any, kind of, any squadron that are together, and staying in close formation within two inches of each other. If shots come in, let's say the command pod is going to take four points of damage, one of the regalts can play bodyguard and basically jump in and you can split the damage between them. Only one unit can cover one other unit though. Keep that in mind. Now, what about the reconnaissance unit? 15 points. Other than adding two command points, what does he really do? Well, for one thing, you can spend those two command points to activate his advanced scanners and sensor system. It only needs to be activated once per turn, and until his next activation, the next sometime the next turn, every friendly mech within 12 inches of him gets a plus one to their ranged combat modifier. Two command points that eats both of his command points, but that lets everybody within 12 inches get that plus one. So if he's sitting in the back of this formation, behind the Glaug Commander, behind the Recovery Pod, behind all nine Regulfs, as long as they're within 12 inches, everybody gets it, and he's kind of hard to shoot. In addition to that, 
if there is an enemy mecha within 24 inches at the cost of one command point per enemy mecha, you can jam their systems and cause them a minus one to their ranged combat rolls. Well, there you have it, gang. That's the basics that comes with the box set. Now I've got more than the box set, so I have been doing a little extra construction. So, you know, I put together a little light missile unit to support. But that's as far as I've gotten so far, because I'm trying to work on some of the United Earth Defense Force troops as well. Take care. I hope this found you well. When I finish the basic United Earth Defense Force troops that come in the box set, I'll do a similar vid to that. When I get them painted, get other stuff put together, some especially stuff like more of the missile units where I can actually field a squadron, I'll show those to you too. Take care. I hope this found you well. Remember, get up, get out, get involved. Nobody's stopping you from doing your best but you. Hey gang, I completely forgot. If this is something that interests you, but you didn't get in on the Kickstarter, they finished the U.S. order, so shipping internationally, which means they've got stock on hand now. They're selling it online at the store. Links in the description below. And with that, leaving your thoughts and comments down below as well. Hit the like or dislike, subscribe if you haven't already. I am the Articulate Grunt. I'll catch you next time. Till then, out from here. Bye.